All right, welcome back everyone. And this is episode four of our Dokemon series. So in this episode, we're going to be setting up our script and hopefully a bit more. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to, let's close these actually, because we don't need it for now. Let's go to our scenes files and we're gonna create a new folder. Oops, ooh, I missed everything. Create a new folder and we'll call it global. We're gonna have global things in here. So let's create a new script inside of that folder. And in this folder, or in this file, we'll call it game. And then we're actually going to duplicate it and have another one called utils. The utils will be for much later, but we're going to have it just for here, for uh, now it exists. So in the game file, we're going to have a few things. The first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to create a ready function that we're going to be using later on, but first we'll pass. And then in here, we're going to create a variable called database dokimons. And this is going to be a dictionary, which we'll edit in a second. Next, let's go to our project settings and auto load our two scripts. So let's go to global and let's double click and add, double click and add. And now we've auto loaded these two scripts. Now what we can do is access these scripts anywhere from the game. Okay. So in our script, we're going to need two main variables. We're also going to have another variable called selected. Dokimons or own Dokimons. So these are the Dokimons that we're actually going to have in the game that, that we can actually play. Okay. Or the player that can actually play. Now the database is the ones that exist in the game. Okay. So for example, original Pokemon had like what, 132 or something like that. I don't really remember, but okay. We're going to have like three or two. So for now, let's um, create a database of Dokemon. So the first thing we're going to do has a key and we're going to have a key of um, a number. And inside of that, we're going to have another dictionary. So in here, we're going to have another dictionary. So now the zero is going to be a single Dokemon. It's going to be an entire Dokemon inside of that dictionary, right? So let's have another one. For example, we'll have one and then another dictionary. Now, these are basically two distinct Dokemons. Now, we want to have a comma here. Okay, so inside of those, we can have things like name. So we'll have name, and first we'll do pink pawn. We can have a bunch of other things, but um, I've created already, I've already created uh, the scripts for this or the variables for this. So I'll just copy it and we'll go through it. So first we're gonna have the frame and I'll show you why we need this later, but it's basically to show the frame of our Dokimon. Now this isn't necessary, but it's just a quick, easy fix. I would actually not recommend this if you're going to be doing this later on, but um, it's a good way to do it. Next up, we're gonna have the scene and this is gonna error because we don't have this scene yet, but we'll make it in a minute. So let's actually just preload something that already exists. Let's preload an image. Okay. Next up, we're going to have the attacks. So let's actually go through everything we have already. So we have name, which is really useful. And we have the frame, which I told you about. And then we have a bunch of other things. So we have health, level, XP, max XP, strength, and defense. Now strength and defense are just used as stats, obviously. And then we have XP and max XP. So each Dokimon will have a minimum and max XP. And we'll make it adjustable and we'll have each Dokimon able to level up, obviously. So we'll also have health of the Dokimon. You can make it 10 or 100, whatever you want. And then we're going to have attacks because we want to be able to have a database of attacks, right? So let's create an attack key. Now in this attack key, we're going to have another dictionary because we want to contain several different attacks. Now, the reason is because I want some of these attacks to have different costs, different damage, different names, stuff like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is have a key of zero. And the first key is going to be named blast. A target is monster damage and cost. Now the target I've kind of made this just for you guys, because if you want to make um, a attack that has like self, you can do self, right? We'll be going through this a little bit later, but this is basically to ask us who are we targeting? Okay. Now I'm going to copy the next two attacks that I have. So we get, we are going to have three attacks total for each Dokemon. We have blast clash and impact just, just because we have the animations for those three. So let's do use those three. 
Um, they'll all do the same damage. We can adjust these later, but it doesn't really matter. Next up, um, I'm going to copy the rest of the Dokimons I have, but I encourage you to pause the video and create your own. So copy paste basically the these keys and make your own Dokimon. So for now, I'm going to be pasting these into the preloading. And that's it. So I have a few tips, kind of. As you can see, it's getting a bit messy. It's getting a little hard. The first tip is that in inside of Godot, we have this little guy. This will allow us to bring in and up our code. So it can kind of help us organize it. However, I'll be going in this probably in another video. There are things called SQL databases that will allow us to hold big dictionaries like this. And in fact, once I get to 130 Pokemon, obviously you can see that this is a bit like pointless. This is a little um, too much. You could also use resources. So a resource pretty much does the same thing. It's just, I would say, not more efficient, it's just more organized. But we'll probably be doing the dictionary route just because I'm very used to them and it's kind of my way of doing things. All right. Next up, we're going to create a function called add dokimon. This is going to allow us to call a function called add dokimon and it's going to take a database or it's going to go through our database using the name and it's going to add these and we're going to add it into the selected dokimons or the owned dokimons. Okay, let me actually make sure this typed correctly. Inside of the function, where's my error? Error at 108. 108, where is that? Oh, it's right there. Okay, interesting that there's no red line. Okay, inside of that, we're, we're going to add it. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have to find the Dokimon that we're using. So the way we do this is we're gonna for loop I inside of the database. Okay, and then inside of that database, we want to check to see if the name of that database key is equal to the name that we have here. So here we can see that we have a key called name, right? And if we're for looping in the database, we can go 0, 1, 2, right? So that's perfect. So we can say if database doki in the dokimons at i, at key i, if the name of that key is equal to name, then we found the dokimon that we're trying to add. Now, if it is, what we'll do now, this, I'll show you what I used to do. I used to be able to just do this and then do this. So these two lines would add it. Now, what this does is essentially, it's not typed the right, same way. There we go. So this allows us to basically take the selected Dokemon size, Right, so we're going to take the selected Dokimon dictionary and we're going to take the size, which in this case is zero, and we're going to make it equal to the temporary dictionary. Now this used to work, but for some reason I had a little issues. I had a big headache with this, um, with this issue. Um, for some reason it wouldn't duplicate properly and it would affect the database. I don't even know. I, I had a huge headache, but basically adding the dot duplicate um, with true worked. I'm not sure why I'll be honest, but it worked and... I don't question it. So that's it. That's um, the do add Dokimon. Now let's add, let's have a function for add XP. Now we're going to have, and it's going to be the same thing. It's the same idea. In fact, I would actually encourage you to pause the video and try to do this on your own. So I'll show you, I will, I will tell you what we want to do. Okay. We want to find the XP in a Dokimon and add it now actually sorry so if you wanted to only add xp to a specific dokimon if you win a battle then you would have to have the name and the amount however i'm going to basically make it so that because in original pokemon you would win a battle and all your pokemon that you have in your inventory per se get the xp so we're going to do that too so we're going to add it to all the dokimons in our selected dokimons so basically i want you to to figure out a way to go through the selected dokimons that we have and add xp to the xp key okay so find a way to do this so i'm going to copy this thing basically what we want to do is to say selected i at the xp key plus equals amount okay now, this is actually really easy. It's a little easier than the other one because all we have to do is for loop I and select a Dokimons because each one, we know each one has XP and we just have to add to it. 
Now, the problem comes when we want to level up. We'll level up by doing this. So we'll check to see if the selected Dokimons at I with the XP is greater than or equal to the max XP. So if we're looking at a Dokimon and we've added XP here and we have we add 10, for example, and 10 is greater than or equal to this, then what we'll do is we will add to it. We'll um we'll do something, which and that something is level up. So level up. So in in the level up, there's two things we're gonna do. Now, the way I'm going to do this is that it'll cap the level up at 1. So if you add 100 XP, you won't level up from 1 to 10. You will only level up once. Now, if you want to change it, it's up to you. Um, I would encourage you to find your own way of doing this, but I'm just going to be doing this So because it's a lot easier. So here, we're just going to add level to 1, and then we're just going to reset the XP. And that's it. However, we also want to increase the max XP. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to multiply it by 1.5. So it's not too complex and it's not a complicated equation or anything. Um, in a lot of games, you'll see an exponential increase for the level up. It's up to you on how you want to do this. I'm just going to do times 1.5. I think that, that works fine. Or you can do times two. It's up to you guys. I'll let you pick. Okay, but that's it. So we've added XP and we've added documents. Now let's test this. So let's go to here. In our ready function, let's go to print selected Dokimon. Let's take off all caps so I can actually do that. And then what we'll do is we'll say add Dokimon and we'll add Pinkmon. And then we'll print the selected Dokimon again and see what, what happens. Let's play. So here we can see the first dictionary. We have nothing. And then we added a Pokemon or a Dokimon. And here it is. Here's our Dokimon in our dictionary. Now, it's obviously not very pretty, but it's there. So it, it, it works very nicely. Next, we want to try the XP. Let's see if the XP works. So let's go over here and add XP. So let's add uh, 100 right? because 100 is greater than 10. And what's going on? Oh, got to remove that. Let's play. And here we can see the level is 2 and the XP is 0 and the max XP is 15. Awesome. So let's delete all this and just put pass and save. And that's it. We've pretty much set up the dictionaries for our game. In the next video, we'll be setting up the actual scene for the monsters and then maybe putting them in the battle. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. And we might end up doing the animation for that as well. So definitely check it. Um, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.